So I hope you're having a good time with this small group. Well done for being part of it. I think it's so important in these days to uh, connect with people and I hope you're finding that valuable and to pray with people and to make that really meaningful uh, for each other as you pray and ask the Holy Spirit to do stuff and change your lives, uh, change your mind and your hearts and your lives just one degree shifts each week and just see what God does as you walk together through this. I know that some of you are speaking with each other and sharing with, uh, with each other a very... A personal level and, and I bless you for that and trust that that will be helpful for you as you're vulnerable with each other. And uh, this area of worry I think is one that, uh, that we, again we can be vulnerable about. What is it that we worry about? What, what are the things that really concern us? What, what are the things that occasionally keep us awake at night? What, what do we change our behaviour for because we're concerned about? And uh, what, what do we find our mind going to? The, the stuff that... Um, that, that preoccupies us and uh, preoccupies is just occupies our minds before anything else comes in what what's preoccupying you and uh, yeah and Jesus says a very strange phrase don't worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more important than food uh, so he says don't worry about food because life is more important but don't worry about life either because you know don't sweat the small stuff but the big stuff really don't worry about that either and uh, and and I find that fascinating and I I think sometimes we do worry about the small things and it would be worth talking about what small things you worry about uh, but also Jesus seems to say don't worry about the big stuff because the big things that you know life is bigger than even the big things and uh, you might want to flick back over the previous couple of pages and some of the things that Jesus has said that that he makes more important than what we eat or drink or or, or, or where and uh, that's 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 hard I think you know in a materialistic world where we are very self-sufficient and we um, need to provide for the people around us and all of that there's Jesus says there's more important things than that more important things to concern yourself with and of course at the end it's seek first the kingdom of God you might want to talk about what that looks like. What does it really look like to seek first the kingdom of God, to be preoccupied with the kingdom, to, to look for it, to search for it, to find it? Uh, and, and what does it mean to seek his righteousness, both on an individual level and, and pursuing holiness, but, but also on a corporate level and pursuing justice? What, what does seeking righteousness of the kingdom look like? And then uh, uh, just a few things in the middle of those two, two, two things. Um, where Jesus says, your father, your father knows, your father sees, uh, your father clothes, your father feeds. And, uh, and Jesus is just saying, you know, your father's on the case. Uh, any good testimonies, any good stories of, of when God has really come through for you or when you have been persuaded to trust father and see what God does. Uh, and, and how can we live with that understanding that father God is with us? and on our case and and acting on our behalf uh father god is is on the case and and then it says of course it doesn't work um who can who can add an hour to his life and and i think we know that don't we uh, might be worth thinking through some of the things that you've worried about that really haven't been worth your time effort and energy and then pray for peace for each other and and work out a way as said this on Sunday, work out a, a strategy, something you can pray, something you can do when you start to worry and, uh, and, and practice it and see what happens. And next week, come back together and talk about what difference, if any, that's made. And I trust as you develop these spiritual practices, it will change your mind and it will change your heart and enable you to live in peace. I'll see you in a bit. Have a good time. Bye bye.